Hi, I'm Matt Brunig and I'm here to show you how to set up your Smith Little Torch. It comes with everything that you need, including regulators. Now both of these regulators are really easy to use because they're intended for disposable canisters. This is oxygen and this is propane. You'll notice that the propane is just like something that you would use on a camping stove and the oxygen is available at normal hardware stores. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is the oxygen only holds 1.4 ounces where the propane holds 14 ounces. So you're going to go through about four times as many oxygen bottles as you will propane bottles. So you may want to keep a few more of these on hand. Uh, the good way to differentiate between what is intended for propane and what is intended for oxygen, um, green is always your oxygen regulator, while red is always your fuel regulator. And so although the canister here is green, the red regulator is going to go on top of that. And something else that differentiates between the two of them is um, this you tighten by turning to the right just like about any other standard nut or bolt righty tighty whereas oxygen has got a re reverse thread and so to tighten this one up you've got to go left The reason that they're threaded differently is so that you don't accidentally put an oxygen regulator on top of a fuel canister. Now you'll notice that the torch tubes are also the same. Red goes to your red regulator. What's different about this one is all fuel hoses are left tightening. So I'm turning to the left to tighten that up. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to finger tighten that and then I'm going to come back with a couple pair of crescent wrenches. One holding the rear nut and we're just we're using this small crescent wrench to hold this one in place. All the fittings on here are brass. You can use a Teflon tape if you'd like to, but it's really not necessary because brass is a, is a soft metal and you don't want to over tighten. So again, keep in mind when you're hooking up the fuel line that it's a reverse thread to tighten, you're going to want to go to the left. And that wasn't very aggressive in it in at all. Um, there again, you don't want to really crank against these two and over tighten, possibly wear out the threads quicker than you want to. All right, so the big difference between the oxygen line and the, and the propane line is this is back to a, a right tightening fit, righty tighty. Always match the hose to the regulator, green regulator, green hose, red regulator, red hose. All right, this is a great little setup because it comes with a little stand that both of these can just lean against. It holds right there on the neck of the bottle at just the right angle. Now, if you, if you want, um, I would probably suggest when you're doing some soldering or some torch work, setting your bottles down beside you on the floor because there's plenty of length of hose here to work with. This also comes with a torch tip. This is a number five torch tip. Here again, we don't want to over snug the piece. This is the end of the torch tip that is screwing on here is a plated brass. So it is a softer metal, but the piece that it is screwing onto is aluminum. So keep that in mind, both are soft 
metals and you don't want to over tighten. So you're ready to start up your tanks. Um, if you're concerned that you may not have tightened uh, your regulators or your fittings properly, this uh, comes with a safe detect leak detector. So after you turn on the propane and the oxygen, if you're concerned in any way that there might be a leak somewhere along the way, you can take a toothbrush and put some of that around the fittings after you turn the, the bottle on. If you see any bubbles appearing, that would be an indication that you have a leak. When you're using a torch, um, there are fumes produced uh, by the torch, the propane and things like that. So it's a good idea to wear some type of a mask or protection. You can also use a respirator or a fume evacuator on your bench while you're, while you're doing torch work. So we're gonna go ahead and start this up. The, um, this is to indicate if it's on or off, arrow pointing that direction on. So we're now filling the, the tube with propane, with fuel. The same with the oxygen. Both of these, the regulators turn the same way, you know, so you don't have to worry about any reverse threads. Just follow the instructions on the top of the regulator. On, that way, that way, off the opposite direction. The way I like to light a torch, if you're using a standard lighter like this, I like to light the lighter first and then apply the fuel. The propane, which is also the red. Always, always, always remember that the red indicates that that's your fuel. Now you add a little bit of oxygen. And you can see that that flame is starting to turn blue and turn getting much hotter. Another great thing about these regulators is that they're self-contained, so you can control the flame from over here. If I turn it off, you can see the flame is starting to reduce. And that's basically an internal regulator. The valve is going down into there and it releases more fuel from the canister. That's the same with the oxygen. I usually run the oxygen all the way open so that you have full adjustment here with the valves. Now, if you're turning your oxygen off, turn it all the way to the right, off. The same with the propane. And this is what another safety feature where you can bleed the lines. It's good when you're, when you're done doing your torch work to let all the, the propane and the oxygen out of the lines. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that to off. And also the regulator to off on the propane. To bleed the line on the, on the fuel, ignite. The oxygen, you don't have to have it ignited while you're releasing the fuel. So now there's no fuel or oxygen in any of the lines. It's safe to go ahead and put this up and wait for the next time you're gonna be doing some soldering. The little torch is a great way to go ahead and move up your game, so to speak, uh, as far as your soldering capabilities. A brazing torch is really nice because of its compactness and you can, you can use it handheld. What this torch setup allows you to do is to adjust your flame while working. So you have full control here with the valves uh, in order to make it hotter, a little bit cooler, a fluffy flame, a really tight flame if you're getting into really precision soldering on some of those uh, more difficult pieces. And so it's really going to enable you to uh, do some more intricate work and I think it'll be very helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was informative. Visit our learning center at cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.